Hi everyone, it's Friday the 23rd of February and I have a very exciting meeting today. As you all may know, uh, my words were taken to the World Health Organisation Executive Board at the end of January and following that, the Director General of the World Health Organisation, Dr Tedros, asked to speak with me. That phone call took place a week after the, um, the Executive Board but then he asked to meet with me and that meeting is happening today, so it's very exciting. I'm taking the message of palliative care being included in universal health coverage, palliative care for children and young people, palliative care around the globe, palliative care advocacy, and making sure that palliative care is firmly on the agenda of the World Health Organization. For years it's been missed and it's been missed and it's been missed. So this is my opportunity to make sure it is included, it's in part of the agenda, and actually there is work going on to make sure people like me around the globe have access to the palliative care they need, as well as the medications such as opioid analgesics to manage pain. So this is my opportunity to speak up on behalf of everyone directly or indirectly affected by palliative care, as well as the professionals that work in palliative care organisations. I'm really excited and I'll update you throughout the day to see how it goes and kind of what we're doing and when. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Northumberland Avenue for the meeting with Dr Tedros. We're just in one of the library rooms, settling down, waiting for him to come in. Tedros, it went really, really well. He was so kind and courteous, really appreciative of me, of my work, of what I've done, of what I've achieved. Very supportive. Said what an inspiration I am and how how much my story and my words and my message has touched him. So I'm very, very privileged to be in this position. And as he said, to move forward as friends, as co-workers, as colleagues, but as friends. And I really appreciate that. That's really moved me that he considers me 
a friend and a colleague. So I really hope I can make the most use of that relationship with him, that bond with him, and really make a difference in the world of palliative care. Today I had the most fantastic meeting with Dr Tedros, the Director General of the World Health Organisation. As I mentioned earlier, I, my words were spoken by Dr Stephen Connor at the Executive Board of the WHO in January and Dr Tedros, after hearing my words, asked to speak with me. We spoke on the phone and he asked to meet with me and that meeting was what took place today. I was really pleased with the meeting. We were talking friend to friend, he did actually call me his friend. He's now going to be a colleague. We're going to work together to improve palliative care, access to palliative care, access to medications, access to the health care we need and deserve and what should be a basic human right. Dr Tedros and I did talk a lot about you know, health and health care as a human right, but also you know, palliative care is more than just a basic human right. It's, it's, it's a part of any civilised society. It's really important that it's included to stop people living and dying in pain. So we talked about the inclusion of palliative care and universal health coverage. And Dr Tedros said he's committed to making sure that that is exactly what happens. We discussed how my case with our NHS, our fantastic hospices, our fantastic palliative care services, access to medications, access to care packages. We are so lucky to have that. And in fact, this can be a beacon of light almost, showing other countries the way of how to do it well. I appreciate not every country can have the NHS like we have and the services like we have, but a basic universal health coverage package must include palliative care and access to medications for adults and also for children to prevent them living and dying in pain. Dr Tedros talked to me as a friend, as a human. He talked about what an inspiration I am, how I've touched him and how moved he is by my story, by my work and by what I have to say. He really appreciated meeting with me. In fact, he made it seem like I was the one that was the most important in the room, which was fantastic. Quite a novelty in a way, because I wasn't expecting that, because he is the Director General of WHO. You know, he is the top man in health in the world. I feel really positive after today's meeting. It was more of a get to know you meeting, so you know we can get to know each other, meet, and obviously move forward now as colleagues, as friends, to make a difference in the world of palliative care. Palliative care is and should be a basic human right. And I hope we can work with Dr Tedros and work with the WHO to make sure that palliative care is seen as a right. It is included in universal health coverage packages and it is provided in all countries around the world, including for children. I live my life thanks to palliative care. I don't think I'd be here today without it. I certainly wouldn't have the quality of life I do, the life where I get to go on and be a voice for others, enjoy walking my dog, enjoy going out and being part of my family. 
So much so, I wonder if I'd actually be alive at all without palliative care. So, through my role as an advocate and through this amazing opportunity to work with Dr Tedros, I hope together Dr Tedros and I can work to improve palliative care, access to medications and access to universal health coverage around the world. I'm really grateful to today, so thank you Tedros.